So welcome back to episode 2 of Confirmed Transfers. Yesterday's episode did pretty well. Thank you to you guys. We had 500 likes, which was the uh, requested like target of the episode, if you like. Now every episode, I want to you know, I wanna set things higher because as we get further and further into January, better transfers are going to happen, more transfers are happening. So, you know, better videos, hopefully better content. And um, yeah, we've got a new like target this week. Today's episode, we're going to go for 750 likes. We beat 500 yesterday, but 750 is going to be pretty difficult, but I'm pretty confident you can do it. If we we can continuously hit like targets at the end of the month. Okay, so if we hit 750 likes and then we carry on, you know, doing well like that, I'm going to be giving away a controller like this at the end of the month, okay, to celebrate January. And obviously, there's an Xbox One as well. But yeah, this is what I could be giving away. So drop a like down below. So this happened six days ago. Like I say, I'm in a bit of a catch up mode, okay, but we are going to get there. Every day we're going to catch up, okay. We've got Nathaniel Klein. He's gone to Bournemouth, all right. Liverpool have actually let him go on loan. Now, if you guys don't know, obviously, he was at Southampton previously, and now he's at Bournemouth. Uh, when I initially saw this transfer, I thought, you know, is there going to be a bit of a bit of beef there? The Bournemouth fans going to dislike him because he was at Southampton. But he seems to have settled in pretty well so far, so fair play. But let's be honest, Nathaniel Klein, he has struggled for minutes at Liverpool this season. Obviously, Trent has come on, you know, leaps and bounds. He's done, he's done absolute wonders for Liverpool. And it's just, it's made it really hard for Klein to get back in the team. Now that he's 27 as well, I know, I thought he was like much, it sounds, it feels like Nathaniel Klein is much younger. But he's actually 27, okay? Um, he struggled with injury and played only five games last season. Last season, he only played five games. So, I don't know how many he's played this season. Let's try and find out. He's also made two starts and five appearances this term in behind Trent at the pecking order. Okay, so he's started two and played five. Is that right? Is that what? I don't know. It's worded a bit weird, isn't it? So, of course, Klein came out and said, I'm really excited by this opportunity. It's a great chance for me to come and play football. That is the purpose behind a transfer. He needs to get some minutes. He needs to, otherwise... I don't know, it could be, it could, his, his career could just whittle away. Now, Klein, who was also a target for Cardiff City, Cardiff City tried getting him on loan, obviously Bournemouth beat him to that, signed and joined Liverpool from Southampton for 12.5 million back in 2015. Now, this made a lot of sense for Bournemouth, okay, because obviously um, they need a player like Nathaniel Klein's, you know, quality, if you like. But, listen to this, the Bournemouth were without a recognised right back because Captain Simon Francis has been ruled out for up to nine months with a ruptured anterior cruciate knee ligament. That doesn't sound nice. And Adam Smith has been ruled out since November after having knee surgery. So Bournemouth were completely without a right back. So the opportunity came on, uh, obviously, in their radar, if you like, for to sign Klein. He wasn't playing for Liverpool. He is fit and stuff at the minute. There's a chance for him to get minutes. I think this is a great, great transfer for both parties involved. Maybe all three parties, including Liverpool, maybe. It's just a good transfer. Let's move on to the next one. So an interesting transfer I thought that's happened in the Premier League this week. Jason Punchin has actually gone to Huddersfield from Crystal Palace on loan. So another Premier League club to another Premier League club, of course. Now, Jason Punchin, he's been at Crystal Palace, I think, for quite a while. I'm going to check the exact uh, statistics, if you like. Um, well, he's been there. Okay, he's been there since 2014. So yeah, five years he's been there. He was also on loan there before. This guy's been at a lot of clubs, but now he's officially joined Huddersfield on loan until the end of the season. So only a few months. So this is what Punchin actually had to come out and say. I can't really change what happened, said the 32 year old. I've had some wonderful years there at Palace, but I think personally I want to park that until the end of the season. I want to park that. I'm not sure, mate. I've come here to do a job for myself, for the football club, for the manager, for all the players that are involved in this football club. We have one common goal, and that is to stay in the Premier League. He wanted to help Huddersfield stay up. He does say, I think I'll assess the Palace situation at the end of the season, but the most important thing for me is if I can leave here and makes, it makes me a better person and the club stays up, then it's a win-win for everyone. So Punchin's contract at Palace does actually expire in the summer, so he will be effectively allowed to leave Palace on a free at the end of the season, whether he signs a new deal with Palace, which doesn't sound very likely if he's leaving now on loan. But you can obviously, you know, Huddersfield might quite like him, and they might say, if you want to sign you on a permanent basis and there's an opportunity there for him if he wants to sign that you know it's, it's there's no transfer fee involved certified player is another player that just can't seem to settle really he's been about a lot of quite a few different football clubs we've got ross mccormack okay now he has actually gone to motherwell i believe so he's gone to the scottish league he's he originally he was out on loan in australia i believe now he's come back to aston villa off has finished his loan deal and you know Villa basically shipped them off straight away to Motherwell so there was obviously a deal waiting so they needed to get him back to sell him of course but yeah he's been playing in Australia for a little while now Ross McCormack believes he could have actually finished his career at Fulham and that leaving the club in the summer of 2016 for Aston Villa 
was the wrong thing to do. He has quite a few regrets about that decision at that time. Now, the 32-year-old who was actually recently joined Motherwell, of course, that's what we're talking about here, left Craven Cottage for Villa Park in a £12 million move, but struggled during his time at the club and ended up joining Nottingham Forest and then Melbourne City and then Central Coast Mariners on a loan deal. So he's been at three different loan deal teams since Villa and two of them in Australia, which is a bit different. Now, I remember this guy when he was playing for Leeds, of course. He used to play quite well for Leeds. That's how I know a little bit about Ross McCormack. Hindsight is a wonderful thing, but I was maybe too quick to leave Fulham. I'm not just saying that because they're in the Premier League now and I might have been there and I was club captain. It was maybe just a year too soon. I could probably have finished my career there, but it was lots of good people at the club, good friends. As a family, we were very settled in London. The kids loved their school. I was probably a bit too eager to move. In the last couple of years at Fulham, we were flirting flirting with relegation that is correct he did use that word Aston Villa was signing this player and that player and I was thinking that this is my chance to get to the Premier League I was a little bit too over eager to join them so yeah he does have a lot of regrets about that obviously a Villa move which just didn't work very well for him but now of course he's in obviously playing in the Scottish League Motherwell on loan so since he's been at Villa this is his fourth club at being on loan it's not very good is it but of course he is Scottish himself um, obviously he's been at Rangers before he's been at Motherwell before actually for two years so he's returning to a previous club which might be quite nice for him. So apparently Villa manager Steve Bruce, previously this is, revealed that McCormack had been dropped from the first team squad for continually missing training, adding that he is nowhere near fit enough to play and be involved. So there is maybe a reason why some of his time at Villa didn't work out too well. That's just one situation at Villa that is. And also a fun fact, he played alongside Olympic sprinting champion Usain Bolt for Central Coast and he actually assisted Bolt's first goal in his official match, first official football match. So you know, you come to these videos, boys, you get free facts. These videos are for free. You get free facts, all right? So next up, another player that's joined the Scottish Premier League. Well, Jermaine Defoe, he's left, okay, Bournemouth, and he's gone to Rangers. And apparently, he says Steven Gerrard played a big, big part in his decision to join Rangers. Jermaine Defoe says there was interest from Crystal Palace in signing him, but he wanted a different challenge with Rangers, okay? The experienced forward has joined the Scottish Premier League side from Bournemouth on an 18-month loan deal and will link up with former England teammate Steven Gerrard, who took charge at Ibrox this summer. So basically, it's not a permanent basis but he's there for this season and next season on loan from Bournemouth okay now that'll probably see out his Bournemouth contract completely don't know why that Rangers didn't sign him on a permanent basis and give him an 18 month contract maybe it didn't financially make sense for them to do that but 18 month loan deal is what he signed to, to join Rangers asked if Palace had also tried to sign him the foe said there was interest I had to wear it all up and I fancy something different to be honest I fancied a different challenge Bear in mind, this guy's been in the MLS as well, so he has had a few different challenges in his career. It is a massive football club, and I'm continuing into an environment where everyone is confident. He said, but I spoke to Stevie, and I decided to come here because it's a great opportunity for me. When he got the job, it did make me think a little bit, and so far, he is a natural, okay? So, he obviously sort of thought about, is Stevie going to do a good job? And uh, now he's thinking he is doing a good job. So a little bit more of a fun fact for you. Gerard has guided Ger um, sorry, Gerard Rangers to a second in the uh, Scottish Premier League behind Celtic, only on goal difference. Okay, and the foe was looking forward to playing a full part in their title bid, having featured. Listen to this for just 22 minutes at Bournemouth this season. 22 minutes. Fo actually said 22 minutes. I thought it was less, to be honest. It happens to the best players in the world. For whatever reason, you don't play. I was always professional. I got to a stage where I probably sacrificed my own happiness for the team and the younger players, helping others. So there we go. Another player has joined the Scottish Premier League. Jermaine Defoe. Good luck to him at Rangers. Good luck to, obviously, Stephen Gerrard. Let's move on to, I think, I think the final player. And it is, yes, no, we've got two more players. How have I done that then? So next up, we've got a guy called Brahim Diaz. He's gone from Manchester City to Real Madrid. Now, this is quite a big transfer. A lot of people are actually quite are talking about this. A lot of people are. So Diaz, he was uh, dubbed as a really, really big talent. He's only 19 years of age. He completes this transfer, which he calls a dream move to Real Madrid. He signed a six and a half year contract, which is probably the biggest contract we're going to see in January transfer windows, especially it's the longest term for sure. I'm pretty sure. Now, Diaz actually joined City from Malaga, okay, back when he was 14 years of age in 2013. He's made 15 team appearances for the club. Hopefully, other players don't, don't won't decide to move on, says Guardiola. I don't want people who don't want to stay here, but to be with us to try and achieve what we want to achieve. If players want to stay, the door is always open for them, okay? So, yeah, 
bit mad, that bit mad. So, Guardiola also said Diaz, he's not disappointed that Diaz is gone and he does wish him all the best. So, of course, Diaz is the latest prospect to leave City after Jaden Sancho joined Bruce Dortmund last year. Um, so, yeah, there you go. There's a few players leaving that are trying to get different opportunities abroad. Diaz has taken a big opportunity here going to Real Madrid. One of the biggest team in the world, if not the biggest team in the world. Six and a half year contract for this young lad. Joined City when he's 14. Good luck to him out in the out of there. Just just good luck to him. It's a league that he knows as well, I think. So last of all, we've got another player that's joined <laughs> joined Rangers, actually. Stephen Davies, okay, from, of course, Southampton. Very well-experienced player. He's another one that's going to join Rangers and help push them to, obviously, the Scottish League. You know, Gerard's really going for this, so fair play. He's making a lot of signings, signing a lot of Premier League players. They're going to fit straight into that team. He's 36 years of age, I think. No, that's the foe. How old is bloody Davies, then? He's a, little, he's a little younger, 34 basically. So Davies, uh, you know, finds himself in a similar circumstance as Defoe, not getting the minutes, of course, in the Premier League as he would like at Southampton. He is another one to join Rangers and another one to help Gerard push for the Scottish Premier League. Now, I don't know the terms of this deal. They are not on the website for some reason. But yeah, there you go, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Let's get a 750 likes. We want to try and hit it ASAP. ASAP, you know, is something that we want to push forward to these transfer videos throughout January. Don't forget, you guys know what's, you know what's on the cards here for a little giveaway. 750 likes is the like target. Subscribe for more transfer videos. I'll see you tomorrow for more, more transfers. Take it easy. Peace.